Um, you wrote a book about your dog. I did. <laughs> uh, the media landscape is changing faster than you can type 140 characters. BU professor and New York Times columnist David Carr sat down with Jill Abramson, former executive editor of the New York Times and Harvard professor, to discuss what the future might hold. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my deep honor to introduce my friend and colleague, smarter than most, tougher than the rest, Jill Abramson. Both professors were optimistic about their students' futures in journalism. There's a lot to worry about in the world, maybe uh, some of it overhyped, but I think worrying about this next generation is a waste of time. I think they got it going on. I think. So just, just to hear someone of his stature to say that's really cool and uh, really promising, honestly, after all of the negatives that journalism get nowadays. Here's a good question. What is the best journalistic advice you have ever received? Shut up and listen. <laughs> I think people can bring um, the right attitude and go into things not knowing all the answers. Um, you've got to have a sense of curiosity. You've got to want to make sure that things that you say are correct or things that you write are correct. I think accuracy is still the most important thing and truth and accuracy still the most important things in journalism. Be fair, but also be interesting because you could have the most accurate, fair story out there and if it's not interesting, nobody will read it, nobody will hear it, nobody will see it. It's sort of back to the future for me, joining Steve. As for Jill Abramson, she had some exciting news for what journalism had in store for her. We are pitching a startup. We are going to do great stories and offer great journalists uh, actually money that they can live on to write something wonderful for us. Get on your Twitter. I think what we saw tonight was sort of the equivalent of uh, somebody kind of getting up off the mat after having been knocked down and said, all right, I might have been knocked down, but I'm not out. I've got a lot to do, and here's an idea. And uh, I, That was really exciting. It's going to be good stuff. Whatever she does, it's going to be worth paying attention to.